Hi, this is Mike Cleveland again with H-Town Automotive. Going to do a review on a 2000 watt inverter. It's a champion. Had a problem with it. Uh, I've been running this thing hard for about two weeks. Uh, we needed power in the barn, so I've been running this thing uh, probably about uh, 12 hours a day. And uh, finally uh, went out there in the morning after I'd run out of fuel the day before, added fuel, <clears throat> went start. It, it, it start and stop, start and stop. Thought I had bad fuel. What I found on it was it had a, uh, uh, it had fuel I thought might have been contaminated. Went ahead and dumped it out, cleaned everything out. Uh, has no uh, filter on it whatsoever. So that, that part uh, ruled that out. Had fuel down to the uh, switch on the uh, transfer and the uh, the uh, front of this thing looks just like this and right here is the choke this is the fuel okay there's a circuit board behind here i thought maybe the circuit board was bad with the ignition coil that wasn't it this thing would start it would shut off start shut off and what i found was this right here that's in the exhaust tailpipe this is the uh, spark arrester, totally pl plugged up, caked up. No exhaust could come out, but I couldn't, couldn't tell because it was shut off before even seeing a puff of smoke. But anyway, this is the whole problem right here. So if you have one of these champion inverters or an inverter with uh, uh, start and stop, you might want to check to see if it has a spark arrester. Right in the end of the tailpipe, that's what it looks like. Goes right in here. There's a little set screw. Take the set screw out, and that's what I found. So I hope this uh, YouTube helps people out. And like I said, this little champion 2000 watt inverter. So like and uh, give me a comment if this might have helped you out. Uh, that's my intention to help people out. Uh, talk to you the next time.